it's very early for well, walking the cats so this is probably going to be a disaster but last night I took Poppy out at 2 o'clock in the morning and one of my neighbors decided to rev his engine and freak him out and um, so he basically went up one side me and down the other and I am like totally covered in claws marks at this point but um, I don't know if you can see him there's Perry there's Poppy Percy came thundering around. He saw us down here. He's like, what is that noise? Up the road, because it's dirt. Because they are ripping this road out. You know, to catch up with us. So, of course, now he's off in the shadows. Because that's what he does. Um, so, what is happening? Oh, there he is. Can you see him? You can see his eyes. Anyway, um, and Pansy is being good and staying in the house. Um, where she's supposed to be, um, to my knowledge. Um, and not walking out here because of her heart condition and arthritis. It's not good for her. Anyway, um, so yeah, all the stress in my life. I mean, first of all, yes, they are still tearing up all these roads. This is fun. It's, it's fun not knowing how I'm supposed to get to my house because half the time this road is torn up or half the time that road is torn up or whatever. I mean, it's these three roads, but then past them. It's, it's crazy. I think they're, you know, this is what happens every year though. It's usually not this close to my house, but this is what happens every year because um, they have to get everything done before the snow flies. So what is going on? Um, well, first of all, my uncle has shut up and this is a miracle. And I mean, because he was for a couple weeks anyway, for about three hours a night, um, texting me, trying to get me to go along with his ideas instead of mine, um, and my sisters, and bullying us, and my sister had basically been like, okay, whatever, I don't care, just get this guy off my back, I'll do what he says, and I was like, no, because, again, what he was trying to do was make this all about my mother, and completely cut my father out of I was like, nope, ain't, uh, ain't gonna happen. You know, I mean, my parents, I, as you know, I've had a very difficult relationship with my parents. But fair is fair. So give me a break, you know. Um, but I guess I convinced him to knock it off. Um, and, uh, I don't know, maybe, I, okay, probably, probably he'll get bored and start up again, but that was undoubtedly the biggest source of stress. Okay, that's, okay, no, he wasn't the biggest source of stress. He was the cherry on top that was, you know, squashing me into the ground. Ah. Uh. Perry, if you want to come, then come. Can you see him? He's howling at me. He wants to come. What? Am I going too fast? Where's Poppy anyway? Poppy's the one who's supposed to be out of the walk. I don't know. I have to remember that you can actually see now. So I should aim this thing. <laughs> because this is what it looks like without any light, so... Anyway, um, yeah, so my uncle has disappeared, um, for now, I mean, I'm gonna have to, I'm sure he's gonna try and confront me at this, I mean, this is, this is one of the one times that it's kind of like, oh, thank God that there's a million relatives, oh, 
we have a little shadow cat right there. I'm going to always noticed her or him or whatever. This will be interesting when these two meet up because Perry doesn't like black cats. Actually, probably because he doesn't see them. Oh, he's just going to go right past. Oh, come on, Perry. <laughs> don't have a fight. Please don't have a fight. Come on, Perry. Where's Poppy anyway? Oh, these cats. Jeez. Um, yeah, but having 50, 100 relatives. I mean, we rented... We rented a hall that can hold 300. There's no way that they're all coming. Um, we have seating for 50. I suspect that it's still going to be standing room only. I suspect. I mean, I could be totally, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm wrong. There's not a million people. But the benefit of having such a huge crowd is the same reason I go to cities all the time is that you can hide in a crowd and it's very short, very short. We only rented the place for three hours and the first half hour anyway is going to be the burial and my uncle of course wants to push that to be like an hour long. That's only an hour, two hours. At this place be great um anyway so yes i am still under major gigantic oh there's pops he's way down there financial stress but come here pa perry let's wait for poppy to come but everything that i need to have paid to get my parents in the ground is paid everything else at this point is basically frosting and I don't need to, um, I don't need it. It's planned for and I want it, but, you know, um, I have paid for everything. The expenses, God, it's about 5000 I've paid this month. Um, that's a lot. Um. And probably half of it I'm getting back. So, the, you know, the finances are okay. <sighs> Puppy is down there having a staring contest with that black cat. And here comes Percy, too. And here's Perry, purring like crazy. <sighs> anyway, so... The emergency part of that is over and whatever. You know. Perry. I'm not one of your little pals. You can't bite and scratch me. I don't like that. Perry doesn't just stop playing. He lets you know he's done by attacking. Don't you? <laughs> anyway. Um yeah so like among the things that my sister wanted she wanted these specific parent um, pictures of my parents blown up like okay send them to me oh well she'll get around to it one of these years well i went through i got sick of waiting for her of course i went through all my stuff and i found the pictures and i also found things like photos from my mother's wedding and sent them i sent all copies of this to my sister just to let her know i don't know what the hell why am i doing this i should let her sweat it out like i do but giving her the update on um what's going on and she's like oh well you know maybe this other photo then and i'm like whatever okay uh it's already done no you know you made your decision i don't care about you wanting to change it you want to change it. it's on you and i'm like you know, she doesn't say thank you. She doesn't say those are nice pictures, like the wedding pictures. I don't know that she's ever even seen them that I sent to her. I have, but I don't know that she has. Um, here he comes, finally. Um, so, Perry.
Terry sitting in the grass. <sighs> anyway, I mean, so this is the type of massive lack of appreciation. And it's disgusting, frankly. But it's also going to be over with very, very soon. So I got to do things like buy the flowers, order the food get all of the like plates and stuff you know pricing you know tablecloths and all that crap I mean, this is such a pain in the butt and i wonder why i'm not at all interested in having a wedding oh my god no way no how this is bad enough <laughs> and this is not as complicated So, yes, it's still massive. Also, today I didn't work, or I wouldn't be here right now. Like I said, it's very early. Um, and I could have worked. Harry looks like a zombie cat thumping along. I should make fun of him. <laughs> But, uh, not working helps a lot with cutting down on the stress. But I have to work because I pay up for all this stuff. Um, this is new for me. You know, working because I need the money is new. <laughs> um, you know, like a couple of years ago. I needed to get a job because I needed to get a job and I needed money to pay for things. But since then, I have been working more than I want, making more money than I need, hence all the trips. Um, so this is, this is new. And especially, it's so stupid. I mean, this is not my living expenses. This is, all this is on top of my living expenses. So... But, you know, having the big things checked off helps my stress level. Having the day off of work helps my stress level. Um, you know, this thing is like two weeks away and... Well, I mean, one of my... I'm forgetting the biggest of all, not having my uncle harassing me and bullying me for hours straight every day is helping my stress level tremendously. Um, oh, Poppy, these cats are some kind of loud. Yeah, I'm here. What? Anyway, so that's how it's going. Um, again, I am trying to um, use the coping skills that I have to handle what's going on. I 100% expect that I will have like terrible avoidance bounce afterward uh, that's why I have my trip spaced the way I do um, I think that I'd probably have a much better time on my trips if I didn't have to go through this stupid funeral thing first oh well that's like um, but that's where it is today you know, I mean, I'm not really interacting with anybody. So I'm not really having, you know, I mean, it's going to be really, really bad being um, bombarded at this stupid funeral. That's going to be so bad. 
blood finger sorry um that's not today so um today is not interacting with people um and you know looking at my list and checking it off and trying to do the best i can to get all these little jobs done so that my stress level goes down so i'm gonna end this because i don't really have anything more to say i don't have any like great tidbit on how to cope with avoidant personality disorder other than guess what yeah really truly if you've got somebody that's haranguing and harassing and bullying you and you get them out of your life it doesn't matter how much stress you're going to have left over it's going to be such a massive improvement that you'll be able to handle the stress if you get rid of the bad people so therefore avoidant personality disorder is like the correct way to be in this world <laughs> Because then you avoid people like that. Um, of course, that means that there's no chance I would ever interact with people that didn't treat me like that either. But, you know, that's that's how this thing works. That's how you get this is because it's like, okay, chances are I'm going to be mistreated. And if it's like, a better than 50% chance, then, you know, the same thing to do is to not have relationships. That's what avoid personality disorder is. It's playing the odds and not going, okay, I've got to kiss 900 frogs before I get to 901. Very. I don't know what he's looking at. Probably looking for that other cat. Anyway, um, you know, if, if the odds are 900 to 1, then that 1 is, is probably not going to be enough to make up for all the trauma of going through everything else I'm going through. And here comes a car, so I'm going to turn this off so I can get the cats off the road. Bye.